channel and the Hippo TC brand is intended for late teens and adults. Anyone under the age of 13 should not be watching my content. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to today's Creator Crew. I am super excited about our guest that we have here. His name, if you don't know him, is Captain Felcor. And if you, sh you should know him. He's an amazing creator, that one of the best YouTube creators and just streamers out there for Sea of Thieves and a bunch of other content. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. Uh, I see my screen. You guys need to see your screen, too. So here it is. Captain Falcor. Captain Falcor, Hello. what's up, man? <laughs> Bring me go. I didn't know I we were. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I am the gold hoarder. <laughs> We just revealed it live on stream. Captain Felcor is the hashtag real gold hoarder. Let's make that trend on the next dev stream, everybody. <laughs> that's a that's a gold hoarder skull by the Mr. Nerd Propellant. Dude, He's very he, talented. Yeah. One of the best, man. Nerd Propellant. I yeah. Foxy Fox Fox Die does a good job on some. I've seen some of the stuff that he's done. That's been super good. But it Nerd is, Propellant, man, he is quality. Quality, quality. Yeah. It's very, very good. So, I mean, there's a lot. There's loads of fox, fox dye and um, uh, latch glue. Awesome yeah. stuff that she does as well. Yep. yep. Um, there's. Oh, I keep on forgetting the other one. She does all the um, the merchant crates and stuff, and I always forget her name. The mini ones. Uh no. She, well, I think she does the mini ones as well. I'm not sure if it's the same person or okay. not. Okay. But yeah. Um. But oh, she put something on Twitter earlier on about the um SOT fest that's coming up July 25th. If you want to buy your tickets, go to sotfest.com. <laughs> You're going to be there, right? You're on a panel <laughs> yes, with a few yes. people. I'm on the panel, yeah, with, with Beard again. Hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys get into a fight, I just want to see it live. Stream Live stream that bad boy. Yeah, there will be a cage fight. There will be a cage <laughs> fight later on. Yeah. <laughs> well, mates, thank you so much for just taking some time out of your super busy schedule uh, to sit down and just talk creating content. Um, as you know, I've been doing these creator crew, uh, creator crew shows and I've been trying to bring people in to just help, uh, you know, my passion is to help people produce, stream, and create their content for those who don't know how to do it. Um, so the, the episodes are always kind of focused around there. And you being one of the best content creators out there, especially in this, like, I don't know, dude, like <laughs> you, your, your humor is on point. Your lore is always on point. So, like, I just want to bring you in and talk. You're humble. I appreciate that. He's humble, everybody. But we know. We all love freaking Captain Falcor. Um, <laughs> so I just want to talk yeah. about that, dude. I just want to talk. You just recently went full, full time, right? I did indeed. Yeah, I did indeed. Which, uh, did you... it's it sounds great. <laughs> but, uh. Mm, it's it's a let me just say it's a lot of crunching numbers and it's very stressful but um yeah a lot, lot, lot of uh, accountancy visits yeah uh, but one one thing is you do find out when you're doing full-time content creation is um you can actually claim computer games as tax exempt which is just <laughs> fantastic you know, you've reached the next level game. of gaming right there yeah, right there that's exactly, it yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah full-time now it's it's great um my boss sucks um but the christmas the christmas party is already there's only one person there i have to buy all my own alcohol it's just not great but no 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 <laughs> no it's great it really is great i mean it, it, it's a it's a it can be feel like a very very long grind but um you i just keep on reminding yourself it's either this or working in an office or working behind a bar or flipping, flipping burgers you know what i mean yeah um so it, it keeps you going it really does keep you going it's 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 it, yeah to have all of the followers that I have and all of the, the the community that follows me and stuff to be able to actually, you know, turn this into a full-time job is something that if, 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 10 years ago, if I would have told myself this was going to happen, it would have been a big like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but no, here we are. So it, it's, you know, it's fantastic. It really is. Dude, that's and awesome. I shall, yeah. I shall continue to be very, very uh, gracious until the time comes when 
nobody plays Sea of Thieves anymore. <laughs> hopefully, a long time from now, nine years. Yeah, nine years from now. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how? Uh, so, so it's talking about that. Uh, how long have you been creating content? <laughs> so, like you for Sea of Thieves is you would say is what when your channel really grew. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I kind of lost my way. I was a lost little urchin in the woods, I suppose you could say. Um, <laughs> and I was, uh, I was basically making content, whatever I could get my hands on. So I was using uh, a lot of content creators use key mailer. Um, well, they, you, those content creators will send you um, free keys for games. So I was using that. Um, and uh, obviously, I was very low in subscriptions. <laughs> so the games I was getting were um, not great. Um, and I was doing videos on them. I think one of them was called oh dear i need toilet was one of the games so that kind of gives what you an idea wait of what was it called are can we view know. these videos anywhere or are they like they're long gone they're, they're still on yeah, all right everybody search go to you go to youtube <laughs> captain falcor click video and just scroll until you see these videos post them in exactly. the, the comments so, so that we can all enjoy two, yeah two three years ago now i reckon but yeah um and you know getting 36 i mean i remember when i used to get like 100 views on a video and i would do the whole victory fist pump like yes you know 100 <laughs> views let's go um and like six likes i'd be like yes but now it's like now it's like you know it, it, sometimes i have to remind myself how bad it was because like if i get under twenty thousand views on a video now i feel a bit depressed i'm like oh the video didn't do too well and then i'm like hang on like you know this time four years ago, you were getting a hundred views and celebrating. So yeah, like, so not... <laughs> I mean, you've been at it a while, which is awesome. I yeah, think that's what I think that's what I wanted to like bring up. So like, you're full time now, but mm. it has and you started a lot. I don't know how long ago. I, I think I've seen your like start date on your 13 channel. Thirteen years. Thirteen, 13 years, years ago, you started, yeah. and you yeah. just made the move over to full time. And it wasn't mm -hmm. until the last two years where you really grew to a point so. where you could do that. So yeah. I, I love that. So like, I wanted to point that out. So everyone watching, it's like, this is, it's, it's fun to watch like the big people out there and see what they get to do, creating content for a living, but you don't see the grind that they all do. And like Falcor mm -hmm. being here, it's like he said, 13 years ago, he started this thing. He could have mm -hmm. given up at any point at that I time never give up <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't until the last my... two years though it's like that I know, is i know so let's talk there, about there that there, there were times i mean you know um uh, when i first started doing content creation it was kind of a escape because i was going through quite a bad time at the time i was with a with a going into too much detail but i was with a partner who was just horribly it's just a horrible person and uh, <laughs> and uh and i used to use content creation as kind of my um my way to sort of uh um uh what's the right word for it like kind of get away from all that i suppose you could say so like you know she she didn't she didn't like the fact that i play computer games i used to have to hide playing computer games uh from her she thought it was a waste of time uh hello to my ex <laughs> how you doing how you doing but you wish me here now <laughs> yeah <b> bitch <laughs> <laughs> but anyway um uh <laughs> So I, I was sort oh of doing gosh. content creation just to get away from it. Every time she came into the room, was hiding it. You know, like, no, I'm just doing work, dear. You know, um, and uh, um, yeah. So that's how it all started off, and it was kind of the way I vented. I vented myself by doing content creation. So I was a lot. I was a lot more um, mature. I would say mature, <laughs> probably immature. But I was my 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 language was a lot more mature. And gotcha. it, it was venting. It was just venting. I was like, f this, f that. You know. Um, yeah. And. Uh, but it wasn't until kind of around about the Sea of Thieves era or just before the Sea of Thieves era, I, I, I met my wife. And um, well, I didn't meet my wife. I met a girl who then became my wife. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't just meet my wife. Um, and uh, <laughs> and then, uh, it just, yeah, I just started to get a lot more mature. And then she gave me advice about, you know, how to, she was she was the one who said, you know, why don't you swear when you um, mix swear words with like, you know, different words. So I, you'll hear me say stuff like uh, son of a beeswax all the time or uh, what's the other one? Mother trucker that hurt like a button a stick. That's another one. <laughs> wait, wait, um, wait. What was that? Mother trucker? What? Mother trucker that hurt like a butt. No, that hurt like a button a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my but, gosh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I just sort of, you know, I, I turned swear words into like, you know, funny different things and started the Sea of Thieves channel. Um, I didn't think it was going to do well because I, I, I started trying to get into games a lot so i did subnautica i did gmod if you remember gmod jesus yep. um 
Minecraft I tried, but then I was like, no, that's not for me. Um, <laughs> it's not for me either. Was really, no, it's not, it's not for me either. <laughs> and I, I, I just tried so many different things. Nothing works. And then Sea of Thieves came along, and I've always, you know, like this reason why a lot of us do what we do is because we like pirates. We like the whole fantasy behind it. And um, the pirate game came along, and I was like, you know, I played Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I love that game. That's a I great played, game. Yeah. That's it one really, of the really best. Is. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, Sea of Thieves came out, and I was like, finally, a multiplayer pirate game. This is going to be the one. <laughs> so I, I put all of my effort into it. I was like, I'm going to, this is going to be the thing. This is what I'm going to like put all my effort behind. And um, thankfully it worked, but um, yeah, it could have just been another game. You know, it could have just been something else that I tried and yeah. didn't really do very well at. But um, so what about, <sighs> what about so. Sea of Thieves? Uh, so I would say I mean, I, I've gone through some of your old videos for sure. And I think mm -hmm. you kind of, it looks, it appears to me, I guess what I'm trying to say is it appears to me that you gravitated towards the lore. So what about, mm -hmm. like, what about that, like intrigued you in the beginning? And then what, how do you come up with the content now? Like, I'm sure a lot of it is just kind of like, I think this could happen, but we've had, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we've had some conversations kind of off stream before. And like, you mm -hmm. know, you're, you know your crap, dude. You know yeah, your, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you know your <laughs> yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dang, I don't even, I need to read more. Like, you make me feel like I don't know anything about Sea of Thieves. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, when it, when I first started doing it, um, for, first started doing the law side of stuff is because I realized, and, you know, no offense to the developers, but when the game very first came, there was nothing. There was no law. There was like, you know, it was literally just cave paintings and all that. And I thought this, I thought this game needs like a really structured law system to it so i started speculating on the cave paintings and stuff and sort of cr kind of creating my own story behind it and up until that point it was just the uh i think it was the tales of the sea of thieves was the only law that was actually you know out in the universe um everything else i mean i, th I think the comic books were kind of there but not quite so I was like, I've got free reign here. I can pretty much talk <laughs> whatever I want about, you know, whatever I want to say about yeah. these cave paintings. And no one's going to, you know, no one's going <laughs> to no one's gonna question you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is great because there's so many cave paintings in the game. There's so many different like areas that are undiscovered. And so I thought, perfect. That's what I'm going to do. So I started doing that. But then over the years, things have changed a lot. There's a yeah. lot more lore in the game now. Um, I'm a partner. So, and also an insider. So a lot of the speculation that I used to do, I already know is going to happen because I'm an insider and also because I'm a partner as well. So yeah. I've had to change my focus rather than speculation, rather than speculation to, um, uh, I guess you could say hype and teasing, I suppose you could say. Because I, yeah. I do get a lot of negative things from people who are like very entrenched in the law and they also know what they're talking about. And I will put out a video where I'll be sort of talking about certain subjects and sort of saying this, it could be this, it could be that, it could be whatever. And then these, these law gurus, as I like to call them, will then start <laughs> laughing at me, sort of saying like, Falco, Falco doesn't do his research. He clearly doesn't do his research. And I'm like, I'm sort of thinking you don't, you don't get it. What I'm trying to do is, 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 <laughs> is hype the thing up. I'm not, I'm not saying this is what I, oh, it's, it's, it's a very difficult position to be in because you've got to, I've still got to speculate but I already know what's going to happen. So instead I take that speculation from stuff that I know and go even further into the future. So like sort of two to three years from now and sure, um, sure. try to speculate about that rather than stuff that is present in the game that people who are insiders would already know about. That makes um, sense. I mean, yeah. you explain, like, I, I love the way that you do your video. So it's like for someone who doesn't read the books, and for someone who doesn't like who hasn't engrossed himself into the lore of the sea of thieves you do such mm -hmm. a great job and your humor dude i think like that's the part that's a bit <laughs> of it too that it's like just so good like what was your last video you sh you showed me a video i just laughed so freaking hard every time you bring up freaking wanda dude i wanda <laughs> what it could be <laughs> yeah 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 you gotta yeah 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 because I, I i've i've kind of been um uh let's just say I, I like to rather than tell people what's gonna happen i will give them the information they need to find out what's gonna happen that's, that's probably cool. the best way to put it so um so yeah i kind of you know you, i suppose you could use me as a kind of a, a scapegoat to find out what the next thing's going to be by analyzing or speculating yourself on what i'm talking about yeah um so that's the kind of direction i go now so it's kind of like 
And obviously you know, people wonder, love it. What's going to happen? Yeah, I, I want And people love that kind of thing. Like, uh, yeah. I, I mean, Fuzzy Bond just did an awesome guide video for the Legends of the Sea. And what he did was very something similar where he's like, hey, I'm not going to show you where everything is. Instead, I'm going to give you just the basic clue of like, hey, go to all these. Like he did some images that made it super easy so that you would know if you're on freaking Crook's Hollow or specifically Sanctuary, yeah. which has like a kajillion of them. Just go yeah, there and yeah. find a bunch of them. Um, but I love yeah. that. It's like you, you allow your viewers to kind of explore on their own yeah. in a way, which I yeah. think is really cool. Yeah, yeah. And I get, I get so many people telling me as well, like, you're breaking NDA. And I'm like, no, I'm really not. You know? <laughs> I, do check, I do check making a video about it. I'm not just like, oh, well, they won't mind. You know, it's like, I, do, <laughs> I do check before uh before making sure i, I publicize something but yeah it, it, it the whole thing with getting the the person who is watching to also um speculate themselves yeah um and think about the world and think about you know how it's going to evolve is something that i really love to do i put a lot of effort into the kind of the mood of the video so that the 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 music the musical score behind it the kind yeah. of um the, the, the each scene has got a certain mood to try and entice uh the viewer to think further on something that i've just said rather than rather than me giving them the answer it's kind of like i'm giving them um an excuse to think about it further that's probably the best way to put it yeah i know i love that it's yeah. like uh you know one of the things with content creators i think we forget sometimes i mean i forget it too uh is we're telling stories and people are are brought mm. into the story but sometimes people want to discover the story for themselves especially with a game with with content that seems to be getting really rich like sea of thieves yeah. every update i mean since launch it feels like it's building towards something which is exciting and like mm -hmm. people yeah. don't want that ruined for them i mean i know no. i know for the longest time i'm like i'm not becoming an insider i'm not doing it i don't want to know <laughs> no. i want to freely yeah. speculate without breaking nda uh yeah but uh i eventually decided to jump in and just because here's the truth uh rare definitely needs people helping with the insiders doing what that's intended to do so if you are yeah. interested in being an insider definitely jump in do that don't break nda but jump in and, and make sure you agree to their terms but help them because it's an amazing game mm -hmm. yeah um and i mean i mean helping an insider as well some give feedback and they've got to write out forms and stuff but literally just joining insiders and just playing the game as you would normally play it is helpful to the developers because it stress tests the servers it you know just doing doing things like just standing on a dock and fishing you don't actually have to go and look at the new stuff you yeah. can just literally log on do a bit of fishing for an hour earn your insider reward and then log off you know that that, yeah. that gives the developers a lot of, a lot of um feedback uh, that you wouldn't even know about a lot of uh, stats a lot of you know server stress testing you know all that so yeah if, if, if you're worried about finding things out that you shouldn't be right shouldn't be you don't want to find out then just log on <laughs> fish for a little bit unless if they've done a fishing update then that will spoil it but uh, uh <laughs> but fish for a little bit then log off you know and then you yeah. get yourself the nice silver blade um uh, figurehead and everything so yeah 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 i think uh i think one of my videos i did so i did uh they, there's the fire announcement on stream mm. bloop like i forget who 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 like they accidentally leaked that What's I keep again? on forgetting the guy's name now. Is it Drew Stevens? I might have that wrong. But he, he has an he, amazing like, beard. That's he, he, I, good beard, and he, he's, he's got a knack for dropping secrets. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> he does, he's yeah, breaking he's his own that. NDA. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, he did that announcement. So, like, this kind of goes to that, what you were talking about, like, research, speculation. So, like, they did that on stream and then i think i did like a super cheese ball video animation of like a firebomb like this should right. be in the game they're talking about fire they should do a firebomb <laughs> and then like that, yeah. and then like uh a couple months later they released <laughs> it i'm like i freaking knew it i was right <laughs> yeah yeah it wasn't even insiders at that point so i was like i was confident i wasn't breaking nda which is why i released the video I got. A, I've gotten a lot of people since then. It's like, dude, you totally broke NDA. I'm like, dude, look yeah, at the yeah. timestamps, you guys. You <laughs> see, yeah, this, this this is the problem with speculation. To see, sometimes I do actually get it right, <laughs> and then people are like, "You broke NDA." <laughs> I'm like, I didn't do anything. I'm just speculating. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
that's the only problem with speculation. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so let's jump into a little bit more on the content side. So, uh, mm-hmm. you've you've gone full time. So, what's your kind of your work week look like then? Because everyone <laughs> everyone thinks content yeah. creation is easy peasy roses, but I know you work your ass off over mm-hmm. there. So, like, let's yeah, yeah. let's talk about. Uh, just a regular work week right now in the life of Captain Falcor. <laughs> well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Like, um, you know, content creation just for the videos is um, relatively easy at this point because I've been doing it for so long. Like, I can, if I have all the resources I need, uh, which is the script, the, the the video footage, the music, everything, I can probably churn out a video in about three hours. So the, the actual video production side of it isn't that bad, but... It's more about kind of getting the um, the the making sure that you're correct in the law, making sure that you're correct with um, things that you're allowed to say and things you're not allowed to say, and it can take a lot of time. So a video that would normally take you like three hours to produce can take anywhere up to like twelve to sixteen hours to produce, uh, just to make sure that you've you've kind of you've dotted all the i's and crossed the t's, I suppose you could say. Yeah. Um, so um uh. Most of the, most most days of the week, I wake up at about seven thirty a.m. Um, and I work on content creation up until about twelve o'clock, which is usually just writing out the script for a video, um, and then recording that audio, and then cutting down that audio to get rid of all my mistakes because there's always mistakes. <laughs> I can yes, never pronounce words properly. There's yeah. always mistakes. I just did a video where yeah. I like threw in a blooper because I thought it was funny. I saw you did that yeah. once too, right? Like yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I sometimes I sometimes leave in a sneeze or a dog trying to attack me. Yeah, just <laughs> just leave it in there because it's quite funny. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much the morning. Then I go walk my dog, who, just, who was just mentioned, and then I uh, come back. And then from about kind of I would say from about tw- uh, about twelve o'clock till about four thirty, I then start producing the video, either finish it or save the rest for the following day. And then um, my wife comes home, so then it's it's wife time. And then in the evening at about seven o'clock, I go carry on working from about seven o'clock till ten thirty ish. So basically, you're looking at seven thirty in the morning with two lunch breaks <laughs> yeah. till ten thirty p.m. in the evening, five days a week, uh, sometimes six days a week. So it's That's crazy. It's, it's yeah. And then other days I'm live streaming, so that takes time out of my content creation. So it has to kind of overlap onto the next day. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. A lot of work. It but, yeah. it definitely is. It's it. worth it. Yeah. What uh, what would you say has been the best thing about it for you? Con- like going full time and content just, just, creation. Yeah, I mean the, the the thing is, I mean I've worked for, I mean I've been doing media, video editing, stuff like that for pretty much all of my life. Depending on different uh, jobs I've been doing, and I work for different companies, not gaming stuff, but I've been working for different companies, and they always give you what they want. You never got any um you never got any independence on your creative um whatever you put in there as a creative person so being um i suppose you could say self-employed um is the ability to be able to do whatever i want and then not have anybody tell you like no you can't do that you can't do this apart from my wife she sometimes says don't put that in that's rude or something and i'm like no it's but it's funny <laughs> but, uh, yeah so it's, it's it's pretty much it it's just it's just being having complete and utter um uh independence on your creative uh thoughts is something it's something i think a lot of authors and you know artists and stuff that enjoy so yeah it's great to be able to have that opportunity to just be able to do what i want and tell the story that i want without having anybody you know telling me that i'm not well some of the time some of the time the, <laughs> some of the time here's the truth uh, everybody here's the truth you see him yeah, right now he's looking yeah. down here's the truth yeah. Here- <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes I will, I will sort of approach uh, people in a partner program and say, like, can I, can I talk about this? Is this all right? And they're like, uh, no, no, don't mention that. And I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> and I have to, like, take sort of, you know, 10 minutes out of the video. Like, god damn it, erase that. Let's, let's reword it. But, yeah. But uh, apart from that, no, it's great. It's really good. I mean, they, they don't mind me putting it, but it's more kind of like, I don't want, because I, I respect the developers so much that I don't want to... Um, step on their toes with anything that might because because uh, i mean it sounds very big-headed but i'm kind of like a big voice within the sea of Thieves community and whatever i say about something that might be coming to the game or speculating about the game can then be spread over the community um so if i if i say something that might be spoiling something or indicating that it might be spoiling something that might come if that gets spread across the community then it's kind of 
it's it's kind of my fault that I got leaked. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily leaked, but just just you know, got the word has been spread. So I, I am very respectful. I will pass things by people if I think I'm getting a little bit too close to something that might be truthful. I'm kind of like, is this is this uh, getting a little bit too close? Should I maybe you know steer the conversation in another direction? Um, so yeah, it's it's more out of respect rather than they, they don't tell yeah. me what to do. It's more just like I respect them and I don't want to uh, step on their toes. You know, but, I um, I do want to brag real quick uh, about you, and I know you're not going to like this. <laughs> But okay. most people, uh, most people, I think at at your status, who have achieved what you've achieved this far in your your YouTube channel, and and I know you're gonna go so much further, dude. Like I, you can just have you 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 can tell when some creators are gonna go a long way. Like Fuzzy Bond is gonna go a long way. Yeah. Um, sure, yeah. And one of the things I love so much about you is you've been so like so humble honestly you've been humble and you've been willing to help like the small guys out which i think goes to the <clears throat> statement of yeah. the and you you kind of hit it right there like you have respect for the developers that you're not going to go out and create a video that technically isn't breaking nda but will mm -hmm. ruin what they're trying to do like mm -hmm. i love that that you've that you respect other creators and it, like you've you've always helped me out i think you our first time we streamed together was last year in january yes, so the year yeah. from now or, or a year ago and like i was small i'm still small time but i was like super super <laughs> small time then like i was tiny i want to say like i was like maybe a thousand subscribers and you and i messaged you and i was like so i know this is a long shot um but i'd love to do a stream with you one day and like i think it was yeah. you uh it was captain jesse captain tattoo jesse jesse That's tattoo right. yeah. and uh Another one, yeah. and crow's nest and uh it was one of the best times. Um, yeah, it was. It was great. It was great. Those streams were fantastic. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that, you know, it, 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 for me, it happened so incredibly quickly because I, I went from subscribers, 10,000 subscribers in the space of two weeks. And uh, a, uh, well, 18 months later, I'm now 60,000 subscribers. It's happened so quick that I don't think I've, I've, I don't fully realize it myself yet. And, it, and even 60,000 subscribers isn't particularly big on youtube i mean it's it's big for a sea of thieves person but it's not big in the gravity of youtube you know yeah um, and uh i i think it's just uh i've never really been a type of person to be kind of like you know, hey look do you know who you're i mean i do joke about it some of the time but yeah <laughs> but uh it's, it's kind of you know to, to me it's just i'm, I'm playing a, i'm playing a game or doing content i'm enjoying it and i like to see other people who enjoy doing it you know and i can i can tell kind of get a sixth a sixth sense with some people like you can tell that it's something that they're very very passionate like yourself and like fuzzy bond yeah. pro took jesse tattoo you know all these people that are really really passionate about what they do and it's not it's more than just trying to get views and trying to make money it's it's about they they literally adore the game and they adore the community and they they, they want to get involved with you know people's problems and yeah and whatnot and um you, you you can you can gravitate towards those people a lot easier i find it's very very easy to um distinguish those people from the people who just want to join your stream because they want extra views you know <laughs> and you get you get you get a lot of that you get a lot of that um <clears throat> but uh yeah i do get a lot of messages from people you know hey you could join my stream if you want it's like don't even know who you are <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, it's like i'm not gonna suddenly do that out of, out of the blue like yeah, but yeah. i think i think when you yeah you you sent me a real genuine that first time kind of like you know i think you said along the lines of i'm, I'm not sure how you react and i feel cheeky for asking or something like that but, uh, <laughs> any chance we could sounds awesome about right speak. sounds about right That's, yeah, it totally yeah. sounds about right <laughs> yeah. but i mean a lot a lot of the people uh, that, that message me like fuzzy bond for example and yourself like uh, and crow's nest as well because it, it was really weird because crow's nest i was watching crow's nest um before I properly became sort of, you know, good, uh, a good YouTuber on CFTs. Uh, and I used to look up to him as a CFTs YouTuber. And then he came to me um, when I started to get big and he was like, Oh, do you think maybe we could, you know, talk one-on-one -on -one with each other? And I'm like, dude, I respect you. Like, like you're the guy that I look up to and you're coming to me, like all kind of like, please, sir, please, sir. <laughs> this is so weird. It's so weird. And I was like, yeah, of course, let's do something. Let's do something. Cause a lot of people think that me and, um, crow's nest to like rivals or something and it's like no, yeah it's no. weird yeah yeah 
It's it, like me and Beard again. We we have that joke going on. <laughs> you both, you, you no, you guys really do hate each other. Be yeah, honest. Hate, it's okay. You can. Him. You know what? This this whole this whole episode is actually about that specific relationship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. hired me yeah. to have this conversation with you, and it's time to settle your differences. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. Pay the man yeah. his money. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making <laughs> stuff up. Yeah. Well, we all know he's got a clip on Beard, so yeah. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> You can tell. You can see the lines. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, anybody, anybody, Beard Again, awesome streamer. Hate the guy. Awesome streamer. He's on Twitch. Beard Again, or one word. Please go look him up. He's Check such him out. an entertaining. He is one of the most. He's the. He's a. He's a PvP gentleman. And <laughs> that way. He's what I used to so be. My- Old Hippo TC. <laughs> New Hippo yeah. TC. Double gunny. That's what. I, that's who I am now. <laughs> I don't even care. Oh, Murder. Gunny. Yeah. I've had to double gun so much these past few months and it just it, sickens me. It's like, oh, <laughs> it, it's like, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I was telling somebody the other day, I was like, listen, listen, my hands, I have been forced into a corner. The cutlass mm-hmm. has been dulled and I cannot yeah. kill and murder the way I used to <laughs> with a cutlass. Exactly. Double exactly. gunning. I, I, I've been boarding ships like nuts and just, and you know what it is? It's the blunderbuss. <laughs> I just blunderbuss yeah. everybody and you're like, all right, you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. Just wiped out yeah. a whole crew. <laughs> It's like all, all of the things that I hated about <laughs> the combat, I am now doing. Like, you know, like using the blunderbuss and mm-hmm. using a pistol. Uh, yeah, all, all, like all these horrible things. And I'm like, I have to do it because everybody <laughs> is doing it. So it's like, you know, you have to, you have to join them. You have to, like, <laughs> it's the only, only way you can win. I just wish that they would do something about the whole double gun thing where you haven't even got a chance to eat your food before they set, set off their, their next shot. Yeah, because that's the reason why I double gun though, because it's the only way to get around that is to you know fire back at them. Yeah, but yeah, it's uh yeah. anyway. It, it, yeah, anyways, <laughs> we don't have to talk about it. that's what this is about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I have some questions. I've been uh, jumping in chat here. We'll jump into a kind of a Q and A time, which is probably one of my my favorite times about this. So if people watching, make sure to just do. Uh, capital Q with a colon and then ask your question out it stands out in the chat so I can kind of see it. Uh, but I have a good question here from silver surfer. Um, mm-hmm. If you have, if we want to start there. He says, what thoughts do you guys have on platforms for creators, YouTube versus Twitch versus mixer versus Facebook gaming? What are these, plat- where are these platforms headed? So in our opinion, I'll we'll have you start. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I would say for streaming wise, um, Twitch is definitely the way at the moment definitely the way to go because it has the biggest um uh community uh mix is relatively new so it's kind of like the community's not that big but then again if you were to join mixture the community would get bigger so you know there's that facebook mm, it's kind of a funny one with me because like i don't really know too much about it the only thing i will say is facebook doesn't really have the um the creation tools that the other two streaming networks do so it might be a little bit harder for you to start earning revenue and such but uh um, I would say if you want to start streaming, uh, and you know there are other stream networks available, but I would say for me, uh, go Twitch first um, and see how that works out for you. If not, then go to Mixer. And gotcha. If you're really desperate, go to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a there's a level there. I like it. You know, I would definitely say so. I know you. I started on Twitch streaming. I uh, recently, the last uh, in August, I switched over to Mixer. But the main reason yeah. I did that for me was I love. I, I personally love YouTube streaming. So like I love the YouTube mm-hmm. platform and I have mm-hmm. really enjoyed, even though they're super crazy right now and they're doing a bunch of crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> yes. I do enjoy the live streaming there. So like, I felt like when I switched over to Twitch, I, I left my community behind And Maybe we can talk about that bit, a bit. Cause you only stream on, on Twitch um, <laughs> and you create yes. videos on YouTube. So how do you manage the transition? I guess, cause you, you started streaming. Well, at- yeah, I mean, I didn't really have much of a choice because let's talk about that. Because YouTube decided they were going to strike me. Okay, you ready for this, Mr. YouTube people? If that is really your name. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, they struck one of my videos out of the blue for no reason whatsoever. They struck my one of my videos dated back in uh, 2013 where I have been teaching people how to record. It's basically a tutorial about how to record videos and how to you know get good frame rates and all that. In the link that I put in the description, there was a link to a, a piece of software, not a software, a, um, a place to download videos, you know, so you could download your YouTube videos and, you know, whatnot, which is back then was perfectly allowed. 
but they changed their terms of agreement recently so that if so basically you need to get youtube premium to download youtube videos um i mean i was aware of this but i thought this video was dated back in 2013 so it's not going to be that much of a problem you know but they struck me for that that um link that was in that description this is a video that's got 13 views okay? <laughs> just you know like like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna create youtube genocide from this video <laughs> you know? um and they struck me which basically meant that the strike meant that i could no longer live stream for 18 months 18 mm. months for that one incident so because i used to i used to live stream on on um youtube that was the main thing i did content creation on youtube and live stream on youtube but then they struck me for 18 months. So that's past now. I can I can live stream again. But um uh but I thought, well, I'm gonna go over to Twitch then. That's that's basically how that started. So I was live streaming on Twitch instead of YouTube, and then I grew a base over there. Um and haven't stopped since. There's no point in going back to YouTube now because I've got my community over on Twitch. So Yeah. yeah. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> that makes yeah. a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But Here's... I wasn't wasn't happy about it at all. And I still I still am not happy about it. I because it's just it's it's youtube oh yeah they're just not they're not great with communication are they? Like, <laughs> that's that's that. that's the understatement of the year freaking yeah, kappa yeah. disclaimers at the beginning uh, uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> here's another question apollo legacy inks asks what kind of advice would you give someone who do content creation in another language than english but wishes to share this content anywhere anyway putting subtitles maybe etc so how do we um like, I, I, yeah, this I mean, is kind of I mean, like out of the curveball for you, but what would you say to that question? Well, I, I would, I would say like you know, if you, if you're dealing with a different language, um, the one of the best things you could do, um, for a channel like that is obviously, obviously, yeah, subtitles, great idea, that's a good thing to do. But you should maybe once a week, even just once a month, but you know, try and pull out videos that don't require subtitles. So maybe you could do like a very kind of slapstick style, um, video like a dance video like I, i've done a few a few of my intros of dance scenarios going on where there's no you know just stupid stupid stuff uh, and you know the sort of videos where they don't need commentary so it could just be like a musical score so you could have like you know uh, three and a half minutes of like beautiful views in sea of thieves with the you know the the, the, the calmed music playing in the background or something that would just get people to come to your channel and have a look and then the the subtitles you could work on, you know, once you start getting the 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 the, the crowd in, so to speak. Yeah, um, yeah, that's that's. I mean, it's a difficult one to do because there's, I will admit myself, if I see a French or German or whatever like YouTube channel, I'm less likely to start watching them compared to an American. Oh crap! Just dropped something. American, American, Australian, or you know, English speaking channel. For I, sure. I would much. You know, it's just just unfortunately the way the human mind works. We're all lazy. So. <laughs> <laughs> no not but, us uh, yeah no, not us. No, no. i'm not lazy at all no. <laughs> yeah that's my only advice for that it's, a, it's kind of a difficult one that one yeah it's all right one, you have to, i, th I thought yeah. you answered it well i'm not even gonna try so let's just do what he said <laughs> the slapstick idea yeah. i think is a great one though i will add that yeah. so like just yeah. thinking of it in terms of creating a video that doesn't require pixar does these shorts if you guys have seen if you've mm -hmm. ever seen a pixar movie yeah. they always do shorts they never have words in them so they're able to tell a very engaging story with no words. So take that to heart there, um, I would say, mm -hmm. in a way. Yeah. Uh, next question, yeah. Exodus Ablaze. What are some exciting things or goals you're looking forward to as a content creator? Ooh. Um, Exodus with the well, good questions, dude. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this, this, the, last, uh, the last couple of years has been quite difficult. The wife has been, yeah, it's been horrible. So like, there's been lots of events in the uk there was xo19 in the uk had to miss them all because um of moving and other stressful issues that were going on but this year seems to be plain sailing so this this year i'm hoping um well de i'm definitely going to the sot first sot first.com buy your tickets right now um <laughs> <laughs> sot fest everybody sot fest.com buy your tickets go shake this man's hand in person i can't i'm in the u.s so i can't even get there it's in the uk so it's a yeah it's a uk it's a uk based event it's down in Hinkley <laughs> in the midlands um so uh yeah but definitely get into that now one thing i do want to do this year because is go to um uh I forgot the name of it. That's really bad. Uh, uh, EGX, not EGX. Um, God damn it. What's the other convention that's always in America in San Diego? 
My mind's gone blind. I don't even it, know what it is. Mention. I don't know. Um, it's, oh, God, PAX? Is that what you're talking about. about? No, not PAX. No, that's I think that's Australia. The um, They had it last year, and they had all the developers there, and it's jolly good jubilee time. And I've forgotten what it was called. God damn it, EG? No. Um, it's not EGX. EGX is in the UK. Anyway, San Diego Convention. TwitchCon? Which is coming up this... TwitchCon! <laughs> Jesus, that's what, yeah. That's yeah. what it was! <laughs> TwitchCon. Just... You're coming up with all I'm these, bre- like, abbreviations. I'm like, I don't know which one you're talking about, dude. <laughs> Rec Gaming, just like, he asked, brain, TwitchCon? <laughs> my, yeah, my brain is so messed up with different abbreviations that I can never remember which one's which. Yeah, TwitchCon. TwitchCon in San Diego. That's what I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. So, yeah. <laughs> That'd um, be cool. Yeah. So uh, that's that's one thing I definitely want to do, and then also you know not just to meet the developers, but also to you know meet fans who are in the US and stuff, which would be very very nice to do. Um, yeah, and other content creators because there's quite a few content creators I'd like Crotech yourself, you know, so many people that I would love to meet, but I, I'm you know, I'm not from the US, so it's yeah, likely never going to happen. To li- I, you know, eventually I do plan to meet uh, to to go out to London one day. So I don't know how close you are to London. I don't know. Pretty, uh, I can get. I there. don't know yeah. anything about uh, England at all. I don't. I'm probably saying <laughs> it all terrible. The UK. I don't know. I'm American. We <laughs> we cut ties a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we're friends again on the seas. It's great. It's your own, it's your own fault for immigrating to America. <laughs> uh, to stay with our queen. <laughs> well, your our prince, your prince just yeah. abandoned you. So I mean, I'm fine. Uh, it's all right. He's ginger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's jump into another question. Rec Gaming asks Falcor, "What is your favorite memory from playing with these different creators?" So you've played with quite a few. Ooh, you've played with yeah, the devs. I'm... You just did. Uh, well, I don't even. I forget what event it was, but you did oh, a the, huge the, event. The, oh, I would say, yeah, actually, that was possibly one of the best things I've been a part of. With special effect uh, live stream. That was so much fun in so many different ways. Um, for people who don't know, we we did a. There's a there's a, a group called Sea of Champions, and they they are kind of rented their own private Sea of Thieves arena server. And what they do is they get people in there, like content creators, not not necessarily content creators, but just good players, you know, people who are, who are interested in PvP. And they get people in there, and they, they you can get onto your own little private server with other content creators, other people who are great at PvP, and they have their own game modes. They have certain rules within the arena mode. So it's not necessarily game modes, but um, it's the yeah, rules that they put down in place. So you were with me here, Bo, and we we did what was it? Um, uh, it was just points, wasn't it? We didn't yeah, have just, any just handling. That was pro- I honestly I think that one was probably my favorite because yeah, it yeah. was just it should it's what arena should have always been like just exactly yeah. ship yeah. combat like fight to the yeah. last ship floating. Exactly. It was fantastic. Like it really was a lot of fun, and it was the whole thing like you know sinks big deal because like you lose a thousand points and to gain those a thousand points was quite hard with just ship combat so it was it was that was just a real sort of it was butt clenching moments in that (laughs) really really good um such good fun um and then of course the team death match as well that was great that was was. um but yeah it wasn't so much just the actual game modes themselves but it was having all of those really really cool content creators all together uh really good sports as well there was not one nasty word said was that throughout that well no, there was jokingly nasty words yeah. but not 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 <laughs> deliberate nasty words me and beard shouting we hate each other was uh that's quite funny my um, i think my I, personal favorite part was at the very end uh when we <laughs> were gonna win the uh last round which was everyone on the island taking the picture that round <laughs> yeah. we were 25 points ahead and yeah. uh i blundered uh, oh, yes, that's right. yeah, 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 yeah. Like I stood there and like in my head, I remember thinking, it's like, I can't let her win. <laughs> yeah. I can't. It's got to have. All right. I'm doing it. Bam. Yeah. Blundered right to the yeah. back as, as they were on the cannon. <laughs> I think, I think my favorite moment of that was also there. T- and I think it was actually Jason. The arena mode. He was on the rare team. We all stood there taking pictures of us all stood there. And, um, Jason Cross just comes along with a fireball and just throws it on all of us. <laughs> and everybody starts screaming. That was just so great. 
so good oh my gosh that was a good time thank you for inviting me on that again that's fine yeah that's fine dude i just wanted to get you know as many people um and you 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 guys were the first one so that was great for you to all instantly go, yeah yeah we'll do it <laughs> it's like brilliant balcor's yeah. asking yes done yeah what time yeah, is it doesn't yeah. even matter done done i'll take <laughs> <Yeah>. work off <laughs> it was great uh, it's really really good and I, I, I had a couple of drinks that night as well so god knows how we got like to the to the level that we because we came second place didn't we i, I think we did pretty that. good we did pretty dang yeah, yeah. good for being it's all if we, if, if we hadn't messed up that last round because we we kept on we were trying to get chest round getting on and we had nothing we had no chests on the last round and if we i think if we would have won that we would have won the entire match we oh. even come second we would have won the entire match mm. that's a bit of a shame but still it's all right it's, it's all a good charity, fight so, yeah. yeah i think beard won it right yeah, be his team. Yeah. yeah, I saw his ship at the end, that scurvy dog. He had like 18. It felt like he had 18 I tests. Know. I remember him sailing past me. It was like a minute left on the clock, and you just see it all in the post sprint. You're like, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stood there with his sniper rifle. His <laughs> cheeky fella. <laughs> yeah, hate that guy so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh here's a good question silver surfer says do you have any tips for a creator dealing with the youtube algorithms regarding posting videos so like let, let me let's just break that down a little bit so you have your video made you hmm. created an engaging thumbnail like me and fuzzy kind of talked about that but you do a great job with that you always have the text pop you always have certain characters kind of stand out a little bit hmm. um and the you you throw it into the YouTube to start the upload. What do you do now? Like, what do you, how do you figure out the tags? Do you do research on the front end? Like, what do you well, do? I mean, it's, it's, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, YouTube, face it, it's kind of like, there's no, there's no hidden remedy, but there is a few things that, that, that you can do to help sort of bolster yourself up. And um, what I've learned over my years of content creation is, um, Tags on your videos mean absolutely nothing. People people put a lot of um a lot of work into their tags. They you know they try to get things that they think people would click on if the tags are like they'll have CFVs, ghosts, um, Athena, all these different weird things in their in their tags just to try and make people click on it. But I've learned over the years that tags do nothing for you in the algorithms for your videos. It's more kind of like that's more for the YouTube side of things. So YouTube knows where things are. It's got nothing to do with the, the the people looking at your videos. What I've learned is is that the first line of your description for any video, the very very first line, is the thing that will show up in search results. So if you said, if your first line was "Sea of Thieves new update incoming," you were more likely to get people looking at that video when a new update comes out compared to somebody who types "Sea of Thieves new update" in the tags. Um, mm -hmm. And it's also the same with your um, your title, your description as well. Not your description, your your title of the video. I mean, never never be afraid to flesh out your title. That's one thing. Like, never just have a few words. Always use as as, as much as you can up to the capacity of the title, which I think is one hundred characters. Um, and just try and flesh that out, and try and make sure that you've got a lot of keywords in that title. So, like, obviously, Sea of Thieves, and then you want you if if say for example, your video is about stealing an athena from another crew um you would want the title of that video to be something along along the lines of stealing athena from salty crew um slash um athena level 10 um taking <laughs> loot for ourselves you know something like that so so all the, you've got all these tags in just in itself and then also the description would be very similar and it's more likely to get a lot more people clicking on it because of the way the algorithm works on YouTube. Thumbnails are also a good thing to have. They really, really are. If you've got a more attractive looking thumbnail, um, more people are more likely to click on your video. But then if you look at people like PewDiePie, who has some of the most unattractive thumbnails in existence. <laughs> He's in his own he doesn't even exist in our space, dude. He's in his own <laughs> no, no, no. like He's... Exactly. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's in his own little world. Let's face it. But uh, but my my point is like you know you, thumbnails aren't necessarily the the be end and end all of of uh, how well your YouTube video does. It's all about the text and people are more likely to click on your video if it's got a more attractive thumbnail. That's true. But they're more likely to click, click on your th click on your video if it's got a more elaborate and meaningful title. Um, and also don't overdo your text on thumbnails as well. That's that's the other thing. Don't. Because I've seen so many people, they got a YouTube video and their entire 
thumbnail is like a paragraph of text like, <laughs> like people that doesn't work it, i need to no, change no. my strategy <laughs> <laughs> no i'm talking full on power like kind of blue background with boats in it and then red impact text with just the, <laughs> it's like a full paragraph of writing like, especially when it's like the, the size of your thumbnail cause hence it's called a thumbnail <laughs> but, um, no that's yeah, good so, uh, yeah so to recap everyone, basically what he says is make sure I love what you take your time with your titles and make sure mm -hmm. that your titles are using the max capacity as possible without being like you, you want to stay relevant to the, the, yeah. the video because you don't yeah. want to like deceive people in when they click your video and it's something completely different. They'll be annoyed mm -hmm. and then leave or dislike yeah, exactly. your video and then leave. Um, yeah. And then that first line in the description is important. In your opinion, those are the things that you focus on the most. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, if you if you go through my video history and look at the descriptions, all of my descriptions for my has Sea of Thieves in it. Maybe update, maybe the word new or first look. You know, mm. so you but you it's the way you word it. So like you wouldn't just I see a lot of YouTubers will put in like Sea of Thieves first look uh 2019 in the hood kiss prank or something you know? just just to try and just to try and get people to watch but it's the way you word it so for example I think hang on, let's have a quick look actually my last video um insider's oh. tip right now what's going on Falcor is pulling <laughs> taking the hood up right now everybody yeah all right let's have a look so the last one I wrote the hidden hidden being a keyword alchemy lab in sea of thieves that's another keyword is the domain domain keyword um of captain warsmith another keyword the first skeleton another keyword um skeleton lord another keyword to make an appearance in the game another keyword so mm. the keywords in that are hidden sea of thieves well not words but phrases hidden sea of thieves captain warsmith skeleton lord and game they're mm. all keywords they're all things that people will Type in, you know, if you're thinking, I want to watch a video about Sea of Thieves, like you would type in Sea of Thieves game um, Athena, for example. And that's, you come up with videos that have those relevant searches in it. So that's, so you've got to think like the viewer. You've got to think like the person who's, it's good. who's looking for That's video. great. You know, you're making me going to want to go back to all my videos and re look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah I've, just, I've, just real, I've just realized I'm looking at the, I've been walking the dog and I've had my hat on. And I've just realized my hair has gone all fuzzy. And I look like... <laughs> you look, look fine. Like, oh you look <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. I can't, I can't even grow hair, Falcor. I've given up on that. I just wear hats oh, my now. Hair's, my, hair's, my hair's coming out good and, good and proper. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting there. Hey, you got it's your beard's on point, though. So you're, you're, you're yeah, just fine. You're just as fine. Soon, as, soon as, I, as soon as I started to lose my hair, I was like, I'm growing a beard. <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't get rid of the beard. Get rid of the hair, but not the beard. <laughs> <laughs> we got about 10 minutes left. I'm going to take two more questions. Uh, mm -hmm. I, th I think this question by Mint Saucer is a pretty good one. Um, mm -hmm. He says, how do you choose what content to start your YouTube channel with? So it's named at those person who's like, hey, I want to do this. How do I get mm -hmm. started? And what kind of mm -hmm. content would be a good one to start with? I mean... I would say the best way to start off doing YouTube is to one one mistake that a lot of people get into when they're first making it because they they watch their favorite YouTube. A lot of YouTubers these days have ten to you know fifteen minutes long, sometimes twenty, sometimes like an hour long. You know, but if you're a brand new YouTuber, you really want to sort of stay away from that kind of time frame on your videos um, because people are less likely to watch you if you've got like ten subscribers, and you know you're you're. The quality of your videos aren't isn't as good as say you know some of the top YouTubers like um uh I'm trying to think of some top quality YouTubers uh uh at the out of uh PewDiePie you know just just a few examples but um if your if your video quality is not that great you want to kind of bring people in and you're not going to do that by having a twenty to thirty minute video because people are going to be like who is this guy like twenty I'm not going to sit and watch it for twenty minutes even if it's really entertaining stuff and well put together. Yeah. It's just a human mentality. People are like, this guy's got 20 subs. I'm not going to continue watching him. It's just, unfortunately, the way the human mind works when people are watching YouTube. So my best advice is when you're starting off on doing YouTube videos, no matter what the content is, you want to keep your content regular, but you don't want to have it going on too long. So you want to have like maybe three to five minute videos to begin with. 
to keep the the viewer engaged so they kind of get to know what you who you are and what you're about and uh, the sort of stuff that you're going to bring on and then when you start to get a bit more of a player base in or, or a community and say after about a thousand subscribers you can then start to you know make your video slightly longer and then eventually get to like 20 minutes to an hour or something like that which funnily enough i'm sure you'll agree here bo um is that those type of videos that the longer videos are actually easier to put together than the short ones because yes it's more about it's, it's, it's kind of like <laughs> You just cut and paste, don't you, for the longer ones? Just like that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. There you go, twenty minutes. <laughs> like the, the short, the shorter ones, you have to really think. Like, oh no, no, I want this bit in it. I want that bit in it. No, no, no. And you have to really, really think and sort of put it all together. But yeah, so yeah, keep keep your video short and sweet. Make sure that everything in it is keeping the viewer engaged. And make sure one of the biggest things that I tell everybody who asks me this question is make sure that your video has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Don't just have a video where it's spun out same thing over and over again you, you start your video off with the beginning telling people what you're going to do have a sort of a, a climax to the video in the center like the thing that you said you were going to do you're going to do it and then at the very very end have like the, the the conclusion and you know what you think about what happened and that's the best way to keep the viewer engaged just like a movie like yeah. you, don't, you don't see a movie about you know a guy walking through a field for two hours you see a movie about a guy walking through a field that then sees an alien spaceship and then falls in love with someone and then uh, ends up living on Saturn. (laughs) Been an interesting movie to watch. Yeah. yeah. You know, you bring up, you bring up a great point. uh, And there's a, I want to say there's a book on it. Pixar uh, has this, it's the story formula and that's what you're essentially Mm -hmm. describing in a simpler form. It's the story formula. It's if you watch every, uh, you went crazy out of focus. (laughs) <laughs> oh there Sorry we go my camera there, no there yeah. you go um <laughs> my, my brain was like what's going on uh <laughs> but if you look at all the so all, look at all the marvel movies there's a the same dang formula on every single one of them but we all mm. love the marvel movies except some of them which we won't talk about uh <laughs> i'm not even gonna bring them up but you know what they are uh but they yes. fo- they follow the same formula and i think that's exactly what you're saying so you, you need to start that is probably like I do it a little differently where I find like maybe the best moment yeah. and like I yeah. cut it right before it gives a conclusion. Like here's mm. the moment that I, I, this video is all about it's themed around and right before you see what happens, I cut to my intro and then I kind of build up to that moment again. And then I end it with the conclusion of that. So it's like this, yes. yeah, that start middle and end. i love how you said that super simple way but it's an easy reminder for everyone watching um yeah. it's good yeah that's some of the best advice you can give not just with um not just with content creation but life in general to be honest <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah. i love it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right last question last but certainly not least and then we are okay. going to wrap it up because I like to keep these to an hour so we're not taking forever. Um, and I know your time is super busy. So with that being said, last question. This is the biggest question of all. <laughs> is the shrouded ghost real? <laughs> Sorry, what? The, the what? The shrouded ghost, Falcor. Is it real? Uh, shrouded. Is that from like Resident Evil? No, 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 no. It's, I think it's in the game, Sea of Thieves. Shrouded ghost. I, I no swear idea. there's a commendation. You have to, like, kill it, I, I think. Com- no. No, I don't know about that. No. <laughs> <laughs> so there's this journal. Yeah. I'm gonna t- I did this completely off stream, and just me and my buddy were recording. Because in my mind, I hope, like, I secretly hope deep down that there is a way that you can summon it if you do a <laughs> set, like, circum- like, you do these certain steps, kind of like how we got originally with Merrick, the hungering one. You had to, like bring the song to a certain point, had to wear the tattoos. So like there's this book I read from Merrick and it talked about a pirate that was naked dancing with a chicken on the bowsprit. Yeah. That's beard again. I hate that that guy. Is that beard? Is that beard? It's actually, yeah, it's beard again. Oh, I didn't realize that was his Easter egg. Okay. (laughs) I read his book apparently. And then I'm like, dude, I stray Chris. I want you to join me on the sloop right now. We're going to dance naked with a chicken on the bowsprit at T26 and see if it summons the shrouded ghost. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there with my character. He's playing Merrick's tune. I'm sitting there dancing naked with a bilge rat dance. And dude, nothing happened. <laughs> you need to, if you've got any, if you're recording at all. <laughs> but say that again. You cut out for a second. What'd you say? Oh, I said uh, if if you've got the footage for that, you need to uh, give that to Beard again. 
his <laughs> evil laugh. He will laugh his ass off. I'll, I'll, he's, uh... he's, he's actually trying to get into the Guinness, Bill, Guinness uh, World Book of Records um, for that, because he, he soloed the Megalodon when he first came out, because anybody was out during The Hungering Deep, the original Megalodon was massive. Oh my yeah, gosh, that thing was massive. Was, and he soloed it on a sloop naked with a chicken on board. Um, <laughs> and I can't, I mean, I, I, I kind of remember what the encounter was like. And also I wasn't as experienced in the game back then, but I do remember having to use an extensive amount of planks uh, for that <laughs> encounter. By over 150, I think we used on the boat. He, he attacks, he used to attack so often, like every sort of... It was not like what it was. Seconds. I feel no, like it was yeah. bigger too. I feel like he was bigger. Yeah, he was definitely bigger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll get that clip. I'll send it to you to get to beard, beard again, or I'll, or I'll <laughs> tag him on Twitter or something. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think that's no, it. The, the, the shrouded ghost isn't real though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Face fake, <laughs> everybody. Ghost. The shrouded yeah. ghost is a, and he's a. Yep. And if I never have, you know, that's what I think about the shrouded ghost. That's what I gotta yeah. say about that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a pile of likes to really. <laughs> <laughs> Valcor, thank you so much, dude. Thank you for you know thank taking you some time. Well, dude. This That's was fine, a lot of fun, and I know we got some good questions in there. Um, but guys, if you don't know, so with we talked about it earlier, and I want to definitely end it here. If you have an opportunity to support a creator, um, Patreon is one of the big ones for you, right? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's check out different. Falcor. He won't he won't plug it. I will check check out his YouTube. <laughs> Look at his Patreon, get his link in his description. And if you can, even if it's just for a month, uh, going full time, there's so much risk in that. And like Falcor was talking a little bit earlier, he did a lot of numbers crunching before he made that switch. But still, even with that, there's this, there's this, it's, I won't say anxiety, but it really is like this form of anxiety. Oh, it's, it's anxiety. It's right. anxiety. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. But there's this form of anxiety because you're, you're putting yourself out there in such a way it's like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna risk and there's reward to it but there's there's mm -hmm. a risk to it um yeah. so if you have an opportunity go over check out falcor you all know who falcor is but if you have anything just throw him a month of patreon and just like help <laughs> him out i that means the world to creators but especially for people who've gone full-time with this stuff um mm -hmm. because and their livelihood is that so if you have an opportunity throw it out that way because we don't want to see falcor go anywhere we want him to see, we want to see him here forever i want to see you as an old man completely bald <laughs> huge ass beard still doing dang videos on i don't even oh, yeah. know what game we'll be playing at that time basically like this i remember <laughs> back in the day i used to play sea of thieves and it was just the first one <laughs> This is Sea of Thieves 2. Hang on, more like that. This yeah. is Sea of Thieves 2. Yeah. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> I love it. All right. And on that note, make sure to check it out. Patreon is probably one of the best ways that you can do it because um, it's that consistent thing. I know he has got some awesome perks that come with that too. So go check it out. Show some love to this great man. And uh, yeah. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll check you guys later. We'll have next week's episode, Creator Crew, and I'll announce what that is later. It'll be good. Yeah, and show some love to this dude as well, honestly. It's this guy right here. You're, wait, wait, you're, pointing, you're pointing like off screen. Yeah, show oh, love to that guy. This, this, this guy. <laughs> I forgot his reverse. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah. Not this guy. Not the one talking right here. Not him. I don't even know who's... No, show much. love. Show <laughs> love to this guy. Show love to him. All this right. guy up here, bit of an ass. This guy, not so bad. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, Whale Lord's up there. Forget the Whale Lord. Whale Lord is dead to me. Dead. <laughs> All right, Falcor. Thank you so much, guys. We're going to end the stream here. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. This was good. Yeah, awesome stuff, dude. I'll see you.